In the following video, we are going to talk about data binding in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. In this example, we are going to bind the progress bars width to the position of the currently playing video. And so as the video is one quarter of the way complete, we would want its width to be right around here. And when it's halfway done, we would want it to be around here. And when the video is complete, we would want this whole progress bar to be ending right here. So why is data binding powerful? Basically, you can, you can do all this interaction between the video and the progress bar without writing one line of code. And what we're going to do a step-by-step -step example of how, how to do that. So with the progress bar selected, we'll go over to the width property, select the advanced property options, select data binding, tab over to the element property, select the video player, which is named MP for media player. And we'll go down to position and total seconds. And there's more advanced uh, op options here, but we, we will not need that right now. So let's press OK. And as you could see, this is now uh, selected, shown by a yellow outline, which shows that we have successfully binded the width property of a progress bar. So the last test would be just to run our project. Okay, so the video is, looks like it's starting to play and the progress bar is moving uh, according to the position of the video. So it looks like the data binding seems to have worked. Okay, we're back in blend now. Let's look at, let's look at the project in split view and let's see what was actually uh, coded for us. And we're looking at the progress bar and at the end we have the width property set to binding position total seconds and the element name is MP and the mode is one way. You could either do it through code or you could do it visually through the properties panel. I, If I'm designing in Blend, I prefer to do everything through the data binding, through the property uh, options, and it works just the same. This concludes this video on data binding, Microsoft Expression Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.